Welcome to American Surplus's Racking Your Brain. I'm James, your host. Uh, I am the product uh, engineer here at American Surplus. I'm sitting alongside with Bill DeMeo, the president and CEO and owner and everything of American Surplus. Uh, we're here today to talk to you about the new liquidation that we have going on down in Maryland from uh, Under Armour Brand Distribution Center. Bill's gonna take some time and go over all the different things and um, different assets that we just acquired from this buy. Bill? Thank you. Um, thank you, James. So yeah, we uh, got a call from a company out in California to liquidate the Under Armour facility mm -hmm. in um, Maryland. Okay. Uh, we went down and looked at the facility. A demolition guy was involved in this. And what's happening now lately is that demolition has not become very uh, lucrative. Mm -hmm. uh, scrap value is extremely low right now. So they're calling on American surplus because they know that we can certainly offer a lot more than scrap value. And we can come up with the equipment, the money and the manpower to move all the equipment in a short period of time. And that's basically what we did. So we went into Under Armour. We were given a specific amount of time. Uh, what we tried to do is create as much value for them as possible in the shortest amount of time before, this, before the scrappers had to come in with the shears and cut everything else up. Worked out fairly well. Under Armour gained at least another $100,000, $120,000 of value that they would have never have gotten originally. And uh, we had a crew in there for three weeks. Um, everything went fairly smoothly. We got a lot of product. I mean, right off the bat, we've got 15,000 totes came in, plastic totes, okay? What size is roughly? Um, they were probably about 16 by 12 by 10 inches deep. They're just nestable and stackables. Okay. They came in a few different colors, but you know, there was nothing wrong with them. They were putting clothes in them. <laughs> and you know, it retail, they retail for like, I don't know, $21, and we're selling them, I think, for $8, roughly. Nice value. They, everybody saves a lot of money. The big issue with this type of liquidation is it's timing. You know, they're here today, they're gone tomorrow, they show up again, we don't, no idea when they're gonna show up. But um, either way, they're nice, we send them out. I don't think we've ever had a tote come back. If, but if there is a problem with the tote, if there's a crack that we didn't see inside the pallet, we'll just replace it, not a problem. What other things did you guys get? Oh, we had a lot of fans. Uh, we must have pulled in, I don't know, over 100 fans. And this is something that we acquire throughout the winter, right? Um, when we can get them inexpensively. And then we try to sell them at 50% 50, 50 off the price of new uh, in the summertime. We got a lot of pedestal fans, wall mount fans, uh, all industrial grade. And we got air cannons. We are constantly searching for air cannons. So an air cannon is a high volume. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm someone new to this. Can you tell me the difference between an air cannon and just your normal like wall mount fan? Sure. A uh, regular wall mount fan that you'll place, you'd have to place Oh, maybe 15 wall mount fans okay. equal one air can. It's sheer volume of air. So if you need to take air in a facility and remove that maybe uh, high humidity air quickly, you would put a series of these air cannons up. They're also great in pick modules because they have these really cool envelopes that you can send. One cannon can send air to like 20 individuals by this air curtain. Um, it's something we'll show in one of the videos, but it's pretty cool. I think we've got, uh, we must have about 70 of them. Uh, they average around $700 new. We'll probably sell them for $299, $399. Mm -hmm. um, again, it's going to be 40 to 60% off of new. And these are the nice ones because they're two, 230, 463 phase, oh, yeah. where you got to watch out for the 277s because they don't work in whole applications. I know we, from experience we've had that problem. But they were great. And on the scale of 1 to 10, they're probably a 9.9. .9. They think they're two years old. Can't go wrong. No. What, other, uh, what other stuff did we grab? Uh, let's see. We got gravity conveyor. We took out, oh, about three or 4,000 feet of gravity conveyor, um, both in, what, we had 18 inch and 24 inch wide, 12 foot long sticks, mint condition. Everything there was, again, just a few years old. Uh, it's all back here now, and um, it's listed up on our website, and you can take a look at it there. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, great prices. Uh, anything else? Did we get any shelving? Shelving, we, well, we did get some shelving there. There's not, well, you know, the, the shelving's in perfect condition. It's very, very nice. As long as you like red shells and black posts. It's all Tribro, great company, Fred DeMeo. Uh, no relation, by the way. Um, but it's, um, it's red and black. Now, we could take those red shells because they're Tribro, and we could mix, mix them with gray posts, and we could put the black shells, black posts with gray posts, uh, gray shells, and they look fine. It just happens to be Under Armour's colors. Right. Yeah. I get you. Well, I think that kind of covers everything that we got in the Maryland uh, Under Armour liquidation. If you are interested in any of the products that you, uh, Bill was talking about today, please give us a call at 800-989-7176 or check out our website at www.americansurplus.com. Once again, I'm James.
Build a mail. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Take care. Yeah.